Welcome back, guys, to the. I'm not sure it's the fourth. Yeah, I think it's episode four of my mini series: How to Transport Fever, How to Make Money at the beginning. So at the beginning, it's it's a very slow process because you can't make money right away because you first have to build stuff in order to to start the process of making money. And in this game, uh, things start slowly. That means uh, if you connect two places together, for example, uh, like here, if you if you pro if you connect the farm to the food processing plant here, it will start out slowly, but steadily, and then slowly increase, 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 and slowly get better. That's the same for everything. Uh, in this game, you just you can't just connect two places and then that uh, hope that you make money right away. No, it will start slowly, and if you did it correctly, it will make a lot of money in the in the long run. So now, in the last episode, I made this nice network in this town here, and uh, now in between the episodes, I made uh, another one here. As you can see, I have again uh, everything connected together. This looks all nice. Now it's the time to add a trade, or better, now it's the time to make the railroad okay so we'll have this city here connected to this city here and this is called yeah what's the name here Brampton Skelmersdale so we know what this line is all about. It's always nice to have. Uh, if you look at your line manager, you, if you look like this, then you know. Okay, this is the uh, called the railroads. If you later on you have more railroads, you see the different names. Uh, and if you're, uh, it's really nice to have uh, set up like this. So are we already going to start the game? So oh well, of course. Now. What we have to add before we do anything else, actually, is add vehicles because we we don't have any vehicles now. So what we need to do is add the bus depot somewhere here at the beginning. Okay, and then we buy how many do we have here? How many tracks? In pre in we have four lines in each city. Okay, so we're going to buy four. Coach uh, for passengers like this. One, two, three, four. So this is vehicle one. This is Kelmersdale one. Okay. The, uh, the vehicle number two is Kelmersdale number two. Vehicle number three, number three. You see already why it's a uh, a good idea to have a naming convention like this because it makes things things a lot easier. So. We do this the same thing over here, quick and painless. Uh, there we go. The, the station is here. Okay. And again, we buy four vehicles. One, two, three, four. What's this? This is the first one. And we give this to Brampton one, Brampton two, Brampton three. And Brampton 4. There we go. Now we have a simple uh, all covering bus system in both cities, which is essential for any train, for any passenger, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, the passengers will have a want to go somewhere. And they don't want to walk, so if they don't have a, a transport, a way of transport, they will not do it. So now they have. And again, this will not start out right from the scratch. People will not just take the bus because they, there suddenly is a bus stop. No, but they will eventually do it. As you can see, there's a lot of people walking, and eventually people will start to take the bus once they figure out there is a bus. And once they have a reason to take the bus, because for now they don't. So, what we need to do now is to buy a train. It's 1850, so 
Oh, so we only have one trade. So it makes it easy. We're gonna make one trade, and then we buy this the the passenger car. We're gonna buy one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a good number for this trade. Don't go more because it will just slow it down. And we set it to the line Brampton Scammersdale. Now this is the time. This is the point of the of the game where you can't do anything else really for the time being because it you you have to wait for the oh, sorry. Oh. you have to wait for the whole system to to start. So what we're going to do is. Uh, I call it speed up the game, pause the recording, and resume once we see change. Well, and uh, I'm back. It didn't took very long. Uh, the train just moved from here to here. And as you can see, we already have people waiting at the stations. Which means it's working. As you can see here, it starts with one person, then comes two, three... And then slowly but steadily it will increase. People will move to the train station. Or not. There we go. We have four passengers here. They will move to the train station. We have people waiting at different stations. And the train at its first roundabout takes already passengers. And of course it's, it's only four passengers now. As you can see it already has the next four ready. And we'll have more, I guess, with this one here. As you can see now, there are people coming out of the, of the bus station here. We have already eight waiting here. And more people coming. As you can see, my setup is working just perfectly fine. So, as you can see, we have people everywhere waiting, because we only have one bus. The same here. We have people... Uh, waiting and bo bo most likely as yes, waiting at the residential areas areas that's where people live so we have people waiting at the station and more people will come it doesn't have to be too fast as you can see here we are this is really really working fine which means we are making money we will make money so, what else could... Yeah, I think that's okay for now. <laughs> call, call it the end to this episode. Uh, in the next episode, uh, we're going to... We're going to I le I'm going to let it run a little bit. To a point where, where we will have to increase this line here to... To have it... Uh, to make it uh, bigger. Which means we have to... That's going to be very soon, huh? Which means we're going to double this line and add a second train. So we have two trains back and forth. And then we will add signals so the two trains run smoothly. And on the double, double, double track. And yeah, so see you back soon. <laughs>